Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 52. And this is the first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Philippines Hokage. All right. So who did they ban? Shuri, Void, and Silk. Hercules and Hulkling are globally banned this season. And Corvus and CGR. Cosmic Ghost Rider are immune. All right, let's take a look. See what we got. Oh boy. Empty spots. This season is already, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this season, that's all. All right, so, man, we got some empty. They did not place, and of course, Enchantress as the uh, boss. That's not surprising. Okay. So, one thing that I've noticed is that a lot of the defense tactic uh, champions don't really get armor up, so they are not good to place on my path if they want to benefit from the node. Um, so this Wiccan just needs a counter. Don't have to worry about the node. And then we have, and I remember this Sam Wilson, we need to be worried about him. Um, Corvus may be able to do that. Let me see. Um... I don't have to worry about that. As long as he's not, I don't remember if he's immune to armor up buff turns into a passive when nullified by something other than armor break. But armor up passes are not removed by armor break, so Corvus will not work. See, he's always sneaky. This Sam Wilson is always sneaky. Best to just go with somebody who um doesn't have to worry about the um the uh node so let me see who um we already know magneto for this um this uh future ant-man and killmonger Ugh. why did they put killmonger on that um corvus can do killmonger pretty easily all right, let me see who they have um, planned. Because I saw the spreadsheet was up. So let's take a look here. Okay, so they have ugh, Doom, Beta Ray Bill, and Storm X. Okay, so my Doom is not ranked up. He's still ranked four. Let me see, who do they have me fighting? Okay, they want me to use Doom against Wiccan. Beta Ray Bill against uh, Sam Wilson. Okay, that can work. Um, let's see, Doom, I, I guess Doom will work. Ugh. If I'm going to have to use Doom, I, I need to rank him up. I I'm not comfortable with him at rank four, but um, we'll see. Uh, future Ant-Man, Beta Ray Bill. <clears throat> yes, he can do that fight. I've done it. It's not exactly fun. 
and Killmonger, Storm X for Killmonger? Does he have me fighting Storm X with anybody else? Okay, he has me fighting Bishop with Doom. See, that's that's Doom is not ranked up. Mm. All right, so this Bishop here. Why do I always get the root? Y'all, y'all notice eh, the one person that gets triggered by root, and I seem to be getting the root nodes a lot. <sighs> okay, calm down. All right. Anyway, um, hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I read this wrong? Yes, I did. Not Doom, but I Doom. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. My I Doom is ranked up. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. I feel better about that one. All right. So I Doom. Definitely can work. Um, he's great against Bishop. Um, Beta Ray Bill can do these two fights. And that leaves um, Killmonger. And honestly, I might ask him to swap out Storm. I don't feel comfortable fighting Killmonger with Storm. Um... Trying to think what makes her good against Killmonger, but I don't know. Uh, I'll ask and see what he says, but yeah, I I prefer uh, Corvus to fight that uh, Killmonger there. I'm I'm comfortable doing that. Um, trying to think who else could do that Killmonger. Of course. Um, uh, yeah, there's a few. Anybody that has armor breaks can do it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if uh I can swap in Corvus. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so we're going in here with Beta Ray Bill, Infamous Iron Man, and Corvus. Now, this first fight uh was pretty straightforward. Now, you'll notice that Wiccan is a defense tactic defender, and uh, or global defender, I guess you would call it. But he doesn't benefit from this node. So it's looking like they have to make a choice between putting a defender that makes use of the um, defender tactic or one that you know, benefits from uh, at least my node. And Wiccan is not the most difficult to fight. However, that power gain that you get from the tactic can be annoying. Okay? So, Infamous Iron Man, he is an attacker. Um, he benefits from the attacker tactic. And so... He will be able to eventually, right there, uh, put a heal block on him so I don't have to worry about that regen. Now, I actually like the power game, and this is why. Look at this. That is why I like that power game. Okay? And then I bait this out here. But with Infamous Iron Man, what you want to do, you want to let them get a lot of uh, power. Maybe even uh, a special, you know, three bars of power, right? And then you want to, you know, um, put that shock on him, hit him with a heavy, and then go right into your special two. And you will do damage 
based on the uh, amount of power that you drain, because you're also going to drain the power. So you don't want to try that with someone who can't be power drained. Um, I found that out the hard way with some champions. I think Venom was one of them. Um, I pushed him to a special three and then tried that, but he can't be power drained by tech. So yeah, I ate a special three. Now here, this guy, I have such a bad history with him. Always something happens. Now look at this. Everything is looking good, right? I'm pulverizing his armor ups and we're doing great. Look at his health and look at mine, right? Baiting out his special, cool, cool. I'm playing it slow. Okay, he has a armor up, all right? So bam, it pulverized, but he got another armor up. And then bam, pulverized, but he still getting armor ups. So that kind of caught me by surprise. I was like, wait, 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 what's happening? I pulverized him, so I'm doing the damage, but it looks like he's getting an armor up. He's a sneaky defender, let me tell you. Every time I fight him, it seems like there's something new, some new interaction that I'm not, you know, familiar with. But we got him down. Uh, I honestly, um, we were talking about this. So uh, Beta Ray Bill is power drain immune. What was happening there was not power drain. When he had his armors, it was a power burn. He's not immune to that, as you can see. So he was taking the damage. So a better option there will be someone who either, you know, is immune to all of that uh, or can handle the uh, armor ups or both. Uh, I'm thinking Gladiator would probably have been a better option for that fight. Now, this fight is a different story. We're in section two and we don't have to worry about the um, power draining or anything like that. All we have to worry about is the uh, armor ups. Well, it looks like Beta Ray Bill was really made to deal with that future Ant-Man. And you're gonna see, I'm, I'm boosting up because uh, I believe this is the first time that I'm fighting him with Beta Ray Bill on this node. I'm not sure. Um, I don't remember, but uh, I had done some practice fights. All right, so watch this. I don't have to wait that out. Bam, pulverized it. Okay, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, we got this. Glance failed, what do you know? Boom, heavy, I got some grit. So even if he did a, um, if he went unstoppable, it wouldn't matter. Look at this, he just ripping him up. Beta Ray Bill, really good for uh, this Ant-Man, as you can see. And I'm not even playing him, look at that, glance failed. Isn't that looking nice? When I see that glance fail, because I hate glance, but not as much as I hate Root. Root, we need to have some folks that, you know, more folks that can deal with Root. That's what we need, more, more of that. Um, look at this, just, just messed him up. That 1% drives me nuts, y'all. I can't tell you how many times I've done damage or even a, a damage over time. And I'm watching it tick down. And I'm like, okay, I got this. And I watch it. Three, two, one percent. And it just stops. And I'm like, come on. What is this? And it's been this way for a while. No one's acknowledging it. No one's saying anything. It's just something we got to, just another thing we have to deal with. <clears throat> now, I actually, when I saw Killmonger, I was like, oh yeah, we gotta bring in Corvus. Uh, our war planner, who is also our um, alliance um, leader, forgot that Corvus is whitelisted. Because for two seasons, we couldn't use Corvus. They either banned him, and then he went on the blacklist, so he was globally banned. So this is actually the first season where he's whitelisted. 
Uh, I've fought Killmonger in um, Battlegrounds and Corvus. Corvus is my favorite to deal with him. Now look at this. I only have three charges left because Killmonger is beefy. Okay, that was the last uh, special that I could do there. And I got one charge, right? And because he did the special one, I was gonna hit into his block a lot and get crits that way. But then he fired his special one. You don't wanna do that with Killmonger. So I was just like, all right, fine. No crits, I'll just get it done. Wasn't quite as smooth as I would have liked it, but we got it done. We didn't die, he did. All right, now, I go up here so that I can get my mini. And look at that, my mini gone. So I'm looking around and I'm like, wasn't I supposed to take someone right there in the middle? And so I went and looked at the spreadsheet and I'm like, yeah, I was assigned to that one. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Um, he got it down and he did not die, so it's all good, all right? So we will be back in a little bit and you will find out just how this war ended. And we're back and as you can see, we won this war. So first war of the season is a win. It looks like they did not get one of the bosses down. And uh, I think I know which boss it was. But in any case, uh, their diversity was really bad. I think they tried to stack uh, some of the more difficult defenders. Um, shout out to our MVPs here. But tier two war, one win. That's a nice good chunk of points. Great way to start the season. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care, hit the like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.